Hi, I'm immigration reporter Dean DeCero. And I'm House Leadership Reporter Lindsay McPherson. We're gearing up for a busy week in Congress this week, and one thing on the mind of many Republicans is going to be how Congress chooses to deal with the DACA issue. Uh, President Trump has given lawmakers uh, six months to come up with a legislative solution, and House leadership is now getting involved, and we're going to just uh, go over some of the things that they're going to be facing. So what is leadership really doing now? Right before um, last week's recess in the House, Speaker Ryan put together a task force to look at how um, they should deal with DACA within the Republican conference. This is a group of 10 members um, from various cross sections of the conference that will sit down and discuss not only how do they provide a legislative solution to those people who are covered by DACA, but also they want to do some broader border security element as a part of this package and they're trying to find a compromise that can be agreed on by the majority of House Republicans. Okay, so we know that some of the, the chairmen of some of the committees are involved. Um, Robert Goodlatte, who chairs the Judiciary Committee, and Mike McCall, who chairs the Homeland Security Commission. Um, we know that any type of deal that comes together is going to have to have some type of border security uh, aspect, so that's likely to come from McCall, whereas the idea of how to really legalize the dreamers who are in this DACA program uh, will have to go through judiciary. So that's something that, that Goodlatte will be uh, heavily involved in. What do we know about sort of the past positions on DACA and DREAM Act and things like that from some of these members? Well, in the conference, the majority of House Republicans have previously been opposed to legislation that Democrats support, um, the DREAM Act, which will provide a path to legal status and eventually citizenship for certain immigrants. Um, the House has also voted to defund DACA a couple of times, and the majority of members of the task force did vote to support an amendment to defund DACA. The two exceptions there are Mario diaz Bolart, who is a strong proponent of an immigration overhaul, and Martha McSally. Um, as a freshman, she voted not to uh, defund DACA, and she is a subcommittee chairman on uh, the Homeland Security Committee. And we have another subcommittee chairman in uh, Raul Labrador, and Labrador in 2013, which was sort of the last time Republicans got together to sort of figure out how they could approach immigration overhaul. Labrador was a member, um, and as well as uh, Diaz Balart and John Diaz Carter, Ballard, who are also, Carter also on the on task force. So yeah, three of these ten members served on that 2003 or 2013 gang of eight, as they were called, um, to try to find a comprehensive immigration solution, and that failed. And they're no, no longer looking at comprehensive, so it'll be interesting to see how the pieces they were pushing for from that effort play into what they're doing now with this task force. And is there any indication that uh, there will be a consensus? Uh, are, you, are you confident that you think they could find an agreement? What are the major obstacles? I think that the DACA portion is just the major obstacle. Find it's very contentious within the Republican conference as a whole as to whether you grant undocumented immigrants, including the young and undocumented immigrants that are considered the dreamers, um, any kind of path to legal status, let alone a path to citizenship. I mean, a path to citizenship will never have the support of a majority of House Republicans, so my guess is this group doesn't even really go there, even though Speaker Ryan has supported that in the past as a generality. Um, and Ryan and McCarthy are on this task force, so they're kind of overseeing this effort as well. And that's just going to be the biggest thing. I think they can easily agree on border security. You probably know a little better than I do kind of where they are on that. I mean, they have they have frameworks that they can start on. Um, you know, there's bills that have been introduced on both how to solve the DACA issue and how to solve uh, or how to, you know, bolster border security. And so there are frameworks available that they can start from, and uh, it's just a matter of, I guess, whether they can find consensus. Yeah. Well, that's probably the starting point, and we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah, thanks, Lindsay. Thanks.